Hello Capricorn, let's see what spirit wants you to know. Okay, we have rebirth, so new beginning, energy of healing, and also energy of the past. Okay, what else we have? We have spring, mm -hmm. so more energy of, of the past that wants to come back. We have illusions, Capricorn. And manifest. We have passion. Someone feels very passionate about you. Someone feels very drawn to you. Um, you are very attractive to this person. And an overall energy passion. Someone has feelings for you here. Capricorn. But I'm getting very strong energy of the past that wants to resurface again. Someone here wants to come back. They want to be given another chance. March, April, May, those, those um, months might be quite important for you. We have Card of Illusions. This is a Moon card. There are secrets. Someone here is has a... Mm, they're holding secret and I feel the secret what the secret is about that they having feelings for you. They feel very passionate about you. But everything is not as it seems. That's what this card is saying. Secrets, illusions. We have manifest. You are manifesting. Someone is trying to manifest you as well, Capricorn. It's important for you to, to maintain positive mindset because something here is within reach. And uh, next to this illusions card, the ma this manifest card, next to this illusions card, it's, it's showing here that it might be a case that you something is playing on your mind. You might be unsure about something. There is a sense of uncertainty. If that's the case here, Capricorn, uh, something here will you will find out about that thing that might be playing on your mind for a long time okay you will gain clarity because with this manifest card we have within reach so your answers with regards to this situation that you might be unsure about are within reach okay so something will gain some sort of light some it will be light will be put on some some or so on some sort of situation Something here will be revealed. Someone wants to make amends with you. Mm -hmm. And you will also gain a peace of mind. Okay, so there is this peace energy. You will feel, ah, oh, okay. So <clears throat> there was nothing to worry about. This is what I'm getting here, Capricorn. Okay, so let's see what Tara will tell us as an overall energy, please. For Capricorn, we have judgment, energy of the past. Mm -hmm. We have the High Priestess. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Death card. We have the Hermit. We have more here. And we have Two of Wands. Okay, Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You might be dealing with Pisces. I have strong Scorpio energy, very strong Scorpio. I also have Virgo energy as well. Mm -hmm. Listen to your intuition. That's the that's the very stand up for me. This high priestess here. Listen to your intuition, Capricorn. Uh, because I feel that deeply inside you can feel that someone is thinking about you. And that someone is coming back and with the judgment indeed someone here wants to resurrect something from the past therefore connection certain situation from the past wants to resurface itself wants to come back with the eight of wands that involves some sort of communication you can expect some sort of communication here with the eight of wands therefore you will receive some sort of message information someone will call someone will text someone wants to be in touch with you and you had an ending with this person represented by the death card the other thing is that this person sees you completely differently now uh, some sort of transformation you you 
something changed about you. This person sees you differently, in a different light. With the Hermit and the Two of Wands, you haven't been in touch with this person. There is no contact situation between the two of you. But with the Two of Wands, this person is planning. They are planning, they are thinking about it and when and how to approach you. But there was some sort of ending between the two of you and this person sees you differently. What else we have for you? Capricorn. We have a page of wands, the sun. Oh, very nice. Beautiful communication. Uh, again, something that you might feel unsure about. Sun is, is enlightenment. Sun will, sun, um, something here will come to the light. Therefore, all this illusion will go away and you will have clarity of the situation. And what's more, it will make you feel very happy because sun is this beautiful energy of happiness fulfillment therefore some communication will make you feel very happy you might be dealing with leo capricorn what else we have we have the two of swords mm -hmm. and we have the emperor you are taking back control here capricorn you might be dealing with aries i feel that for a lot of you as a collective you are you are now very selective with your energy you are not sharing much with people with the two of swords uh, i feel that you are shielding your heart you don't want to be hurt and also there is this energy of knowing exactly what you want and with the two of swords it's I feel that there is, here is the thing, what I'm getting, and that's why it can be quite confusing, because Two of Swords represents a double-edged sword situation, crossroads. And I feel that as a collective, a lot of you, you know exactly what you want. You want to be in control of certain things. You are taking back control. You want to make certain decisions, and you know exactly what it's working for you, what works for you, or, or what should be kind of a, you know, uh, left behind, essentially. And I feel with the two of swords, you are very selective. You you are you are um, you are not sharing much with people. With a certain information or with your ideas, something to do with that. With Knight of Cups, we have here at the bottom of the deck. As a side note, love is showing up for you. Someone here. Uh, will soon show up in your life and they will want it to get to know you better. This is a new energy. For some of you, I'm, I'm getting here, Capricorn, that you have problems with trust. You don't trust people with this Two of Swords. And when this person arrives, the new person and a person from the past, it might put you in this double-edged sword situation at the crossroads for some of you. Should I trust this person from the past? Or should I trust this new person? Something like this is coming forward. But I feel that you are now uh, not sharing much with others. And, that's, that's, and, and that gives you this kind of control over certain matters. You are waiting here for something. There is this energy of wait, of waiting, of waiting, waiting on some sort of outcome, Capricorn. But this outcome, it's coming and it will make you feel very happy with the, with the sun. Capricorn, this is an overall energy, okay? So now I will clarify your cards and we will have many stories. I will try to keep it as simple as it can be because I don't want to confuse you. Um, if this reading doesn't resonate with you, that's absolutely fine. Uh, I will be posting in, in the next three days another reading for your sign. So please check that out as well. F uh, if you only have a wish, of course. Also, please check your other placements and, um, 
and only if you have a wish please check the other readings as well so capricorn as it is a general reading for all your placements please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation cross waters for capricorn you are very much welcome but the roles can be switched therefore you might feel that this is your reading and capricorn is like a main theme uh, throughout this reading this is how this message can be read okay also in the description box below i i attached a list of the decks that i'm using so and where you can find them so please free to to check this out as well okay let's clarify your reading capricorn why the judgment why the judgment for capricorn we have a four of swords Mm -hmm. Five of Cups, Two of Cups, wow, Five of Swords, Strength, and we have the Moon. So, yes, that essentially showing here Capricorn. That someone from your past is 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 thinking and reminiscing about this connection so judgment is clarified by the four of swords five of swords two of cups five of um, uh, five of swords and strength at the bottom we have the moon that card so we have Pisces energy and also Leo energy in this mini spread I feel that there is a no contact situation between you and this person. With the Five of Cups, this person caused you emotional upheaval. They broke your heart. There is a sense of loss and, and dissatisfaction, disappointment, sadness. And it is a connection. I feel we are connecting here with someone with whom you were in a relationship with the two of cups the thing is that this person is incredibly missing you they feel that you are walking away or that you are leaving them behind they no longer can feel your energy the difference is that you can feel them with this high precious i feel that for a lot of you you can feel that this person is trying to manifest you and they try to do it but you haven't been in touch with them because four of swords is i feel that you've tried to heal and you are healing you are still healing from this situation there is no contact this person is heartbroken uh, they are missing you they are longing for you this is someone who has regrets they might present themselves differently you know for the for the out for the outside world but that's that's a lie deeply inside this person is is uh has regrets they really do have regrets they feel that they lost you that they lost this connection uh, they've realized i feel this time apart here made them realize that they 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 love you and they lost uh, that something that that was really really a powerful and very va va valuable here your connection the problem is that this person has a tendency to sabotage good things in their life with the five of swords they played mind games I feel that at some point this person betrayed you they lied someone this is this this represents someone who likes to argue for the sake of argument they always have to be right have an upper hand and they know best the truth is that they don't of course because Five of Swords is this energy of, of mind games. They regret what they did here. That's what I can tell you, Capricorn. They regret their actions. They thought, I feel that at the very beginning, this person thought that you would reach out to them. Because maybe at the time, you were the one who was trying to always make amends or trying to kind of you know was the first one who was offering the hand as a as a as a hand of reconciliation but not this time this person um, is is not in a very good place emotionally with the five of cups 
they feel down they are thinking about this connection non-stop and they feel that in how intense this connection is how strong with the strength this is someone who's trying to appear in front of other people as as everything it's fine because this is an energy of being um in control this is self-discipline self-control energy the strength and this is what they want to portray it and how they want to appear it for the outside world but the reality is completely different this person is perfectly aware that they played mind games that they lied to you that they were unfair in this relationship and their karma is to to love you capricorn this is what i can say the moon they are very very deep in their emotions they are thinking non-stop about you very strong Pisces you can expect some sort of action from this person full moon in Pisces is important here mm -hmm. they want to come back they do want to come back and you feel them they can't feel you energetically but I feel that you can feel them you know deeply inside you are very very um, intuitive at this very moment Capricorn and I feel that you can feel them that they are coming that they will communicate why the Eight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles. There will be a choice. That, this is what I was getting at the very beginning. You will have a choice between some sort of new energy or someone that you've met, you know, recently or you start dating, whatever the case might be, please take it that it resonates. If you haven't met this person already, you will meet here a new individual, but there is a choice. And the thing is, common thing is that when this person approach you, that person from the past who is full of regret, uh, you will also be in touch with that individual. That's why we have a two of pentacles because you will have to, uh, I mean, there is some sort of choice attached to this situation because both of the parties they will want it to offer you their cup of love in this case this person will want to reconcile with you and they will say I want to build a strong long-term commitment with you ten of pentacles this person the new person will also want to offer you their cup of love Therefore, they interest. This is someone who wanted to get to know you better, who wanted to date you. And within time, they would want this connection to, to, to move into, into, into a different level, bringing more stability. So you will have a choice here, Capricorn, between new individual or someone that you've recently met or this past person that's coming here. Why the Page of Wands for Capricorn? Why the Page of Wands for Capricorn? Why the Page of Wands for Capricorn? We have a King of Cups, so message of affection is coming. The Devil. Mm -hmm. Five of Wands, oh my gosh. Six of Wands, attention-seeking person is going to communicate with you. Page of Wands is clarified by the King of Cups, the Devil, and the Five of Wands. You might be dealing with another Capricorn. Capricorn. You have someone who's obsessing over you. This King of Cups. I'm getting this energy. This King of Cups, this is someone who's very argumentative. They're creating drama on purpose. This is the way they're getting the, your attention, or they used to get your attention, because I'm getting this energy from the past. This person wants your attention and, the, and I don't know, their attitude or the way they're seeing, you know, the way to gain your attention, it's very, very odd because they're essentially showing me here someone who's creating drama or making you jealous on purpose in order for them to be reassured that you cared. This is how they're get, getting your attention or they used to get your attention because we are talking about someone from the past. They are so insecure. This is someone who has abandonment issues. They are so insecure that I'm getting here this King of Cups. Many times they used to create dramas, conflicts, arguments. 
you making you jealous in order for them to feel reassured that you love them, that you want them. You're dealing here with attention seeking person, drama queen or king. <laughs> this is drama. This person has unhealthy attitude with regards to love. Because instead of being loving, caring, this person is create, used to, I feel, they have a tendency to create the dramas because this is how they are reassured that someone cares for them. But this creates a toxic, unhealthy, low vibrational energy. King of Cups, he has love. But when he's suspected by the devil and the five of wands, it's showing me someone who is emotionally manipulative. They are playing on emotions and they know exactly what they're doing. They want to communicate. This individual, want, they want to communicate. You might be dealing here with someone who has unhealthy habits. And uh, every time when you try to kind of point this out gently or you try to help them, they were getting uh, agitated. And what happened? You were having an argument. You are dealing here with someone who is very, very, very challenging, very complex. They have their ways, but I'm getting here someone who has unhealthy habits. And they don't want to do the work. Thing is now that this person it's missing you because they're missing care, attention, and love that you are giving them. They want to communicate, they want to come back, but you, you know, you know the cards. We have the King of Cups, the Devil and the Five of Wands. This is drama on purpose. This person creates codependent relationship it might be a case that this person puts you in this um, 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 competition that you had to at the time that it was a chase runner dynamic and you felt that you have to compete with others for their attention. This is someone who knows exactly what they're doing. That, that's why we had this five of swords. Well, now I can see, now I can see why we had this five of swords. Because of this person's ways, manipulation, mind games. Very manipulative individual. This person needs to do some healing. But at the moment, I feel that they don't, they, they don't do it. Yes, they're missing you. They feel that this connection, it's very strong. You might feel this as well. But uh, this person is stressing out because they can't feel you energetically. You can. You are very intuitive. I feel that you know deeply inside that this person very, very soon will communicate. They will come forward. They will reach out. But they are coming here with manipulation. Capricorn. So there is something to think about when they reach out, okay? Why the sun? Why the sun for, for Capricorn? Why the sun for Capricorn? We have a six of pentacles, we have a four of pentacles, and we have nine of swords. There is nothing to be worried about, Capricorn. And I see you stressing out with the nine of swords. Nothing to worry about. Look, because you have the sun with the six of pentacles and the four of pentacles. If you are worried about your stability, something to do with your finances or work-related situation, be reassured that the outcome will be positive. You might even receive some sort of extra bonus in the form of, you know, finances, money. Nothing to worry about. Soon you will come, soon you will move into calmer waters, into calmer times. Things will be just fine. You have the sun. The sun that is protecting your stability. Don't worry, Capricorn. If there is something that is playing on your mind and you are stressing, something to do with finances or money, please be reassured that there will be a support. If that's the case, please take it how it resonates. And you will have stability. 
your stability is protected here Capricorn okay why the two of swords two cards please why the two of swords for Capricorn please we have a four of wands and a ten of swords four of swords mm -hmm. you are protecting yourself from uh, this this individual here who caused you a very very painful emotionally painful ending this person at some point made you feel that you are not enough and they made you feel rejected every attempt for you every attempt every your every attempt i don't know if it's the right way to say it um every time okay <laughs> every time when you tried i'm laughing from my english sorry every time when you tried to bring more happiness to um to offer this person affection love support they were acting like a brat grumpy grumpy person uh, someone who took your kindness for weakness they got too comfortable they got too comfortable gosh I have so many thoughts they're really trying to put the message across what I'm seeing here with this two of swords is that you are sh you are you are protecting your heart uh, from from a heartbreak because uh, four of wands with the ten of swords is showing that there was a connection that ended and it was an emotionally painful ending there is a sense of betrayal uh, and metaphorically you might felt that someone here stabbed you in the back it, it's just and you just kind of uh, surrendered to the outcome and why the two of swords because you feel that this person is going to come back and with the two of swords I feel that you are preparing yourself and you just you you are shielding yourself from that disappointment therefore you just you, you don't want to you, you don't want this person to 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 you don't want this situation to repeat itself again and i feel as a collective for a lot of you capricorn you'll essentially block this person of maybe you've already done it but um or you will tell them that it's it's over it's done because this is energy of rejection and also the four of cups it's you now rejecting this person this is someone with whom you had a painful ending you are shielding yourself from this disappointment because deeply inside as your intuition might be telling you that this person will show up also might be telling you that they haven't changed and you're risking again uh, disappointment in love caused by this individual Mm -hmm. why the emperor for capricorn we have an eight of pentacles okay we have a three of wands oh wonderful and we have the chariot we have a page of cups and we have six of cups oh my gosh very nice you are taking back control here focusing on yourself so the emperor here it's clarified oh, we have it that way let's be let's be precise so we have a, um, the emperor is clarified by the eight of pentacles a three of wands uh, nine of cups and the chariot capricorn your dreams will come true this is what i can tell you this is gorgeous you're going to meet someone and that's what they're emphasizing here with this page of cups uh, and you will feel that this person that you've known this person for a long time there is a sense of being familiar with this person you know that kind of oh yes I because six of cups represents this energy of the past but very nice cute energy very pure page of cups potential for some of you you are already in touch with someone or you date you start dating someone and this person feels like you've known each other for a long time that you've met this person before it might be your past life loves your past life love with the six of cups so your souls remember 
each other from a previous lifetime. It can be a case, but this is very beautiful energy. And essentially the spirit it's telling you, Capricorn, you have nothing to worry about. Eight of Pentacles, your finances, your work-related situation will look really, really good. With the Three of Wands, something here will arrive. Something here is coming. It's within reach. And we have this within reach card, right? You're manifesting here. Your dream come true, represented by the Nine of Cups. And there is a sense of victory over adversity and obstacles. You will win here something here. Uh, Capricorn you might be dealing with uh, cancer but there is a sense of you achieving something that you want to or you've been trying to manifest for a long time there is a sense of fulfillment happiness something that you've been dreaming about it's going to come true and with the chariot things will start moving on you know moving towards success and fulfillment and happiness beautiful 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 energy you'll be very happy and successful and you also here have someone or you're about to meet a person who will feel essentially like you've known them for a long time it 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 is a potential for something very beautiful Capricorn, I would leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you so very much for your time. Capricorn, have a wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much. Take care. Bye.